As we all know, uterus is a pear-shaped hollow organ where the unborn baby develops and grows. But there can be defect in the uterus, birth defect in the uterus also. These defect happen in women when they are in their mother's womb. So normally the uterus is pear-shaped, but some people uh, can have heart-shaped uterus or the arcuate uterus, or sometimes only one part of the uterus is developed called unicornate uterus. Sometimes there can be a wall in between in the cavity of the uterus called septate uterus. Sometimes can be two uterus, bicornuate or uterus diadelphus. These are different shapes which is seen in less than 5% of women. These uterine defects are usually asymptomatic, but later in life, uh, women can have infertility, recurrent abortions, especially abortions in the fourth or fifth month of pregnancy, complication in pregnancy like early delivery, malposition of fetus. These are sometimes the uterine defect can cause. So there are many times found only after some complication has happened in pregnancy. Usually a good 3D ultrasound or an MRI can detect these defects. The importance of these detecting these defects is it, some of them are surgically correctable. For example, a septate uterus. It's basically a wall seen in the cavity of the uterus. Uh, this can cause recurrent miscarriage in some women. You know, they usually lose pregnancies in their fourth or fifth month of pregnancy. And a surgery recommended for it is called a hysteroscopic septal resection. Here what we do, we go from the vagina with the telescope, uh, go into the uterine cavity and resect that septum, making the uterine cavity larger and unify the uterine cavity. The result of the surgical procedure is uh, extremely satisfying because the take-home pregnancy rate after doing a septal resection is nearly more than 90%. Some uterine defects do not cause any problem like the arcuate uterus. Some of them like unicornate uterus are not correctable. So anyone who presents to us with either recurrent abortions or who have lost a pregnancy in the fourth or fifth month it is important that we investigate and image the uterus properly in order to diagnose if there is any associated defect in the uterus.